In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters on your low end PC in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. So make sure to watch my this whole video and also if this is your first time here, so please make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification and drop a like on this video. So let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, you need to guys open up the Windows search and type here one and press enter from your keyboard. You will go to this run window, you need to type here gpedit.msc, then click OK, go for the computer configurations, administrative templates, Windows component, app privacy, and here you will go to this kind of list. You will find here, let's window app run in the background, simply double click here, now set it on to the enable, go for the default for all app and set it on to the force deny. Hit apply and click ok in the second step guys i'm going to show you how to download the fortnite chapter 3 fps boost pack for season 3 on your pc and by using it we can guys improve our pc performance and boost our fps in any low end or a high end pc so let's start it so first of all you need to open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here onto my this website and on this top you will find out this fortnite chapter 3 how to boost fps fix fps drops and stutters on your low end pc with the same thumbnail you need to click here onto this article it will take you here on this next page you need to scroll all the way down here is guys this video's description and here is the link for this file you need to click here on this link it will take you here onto the media file click on this download button and download this pack on your computer i already got one here on my desktop you will go to this kind of zip file you need to right click here Go for this winner option and click here onto the extract here. You will go to this folder with the same name of the Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 FPS Boost Pack by Ripex. You need to open up this folder. And here is again guys bunch of folder. First here is the best reg file for gaming. Second is the Fortnite config file for boosting your FPS. High priority for the Fortnite programs for increasing your CP performance. And here is the uh, timer resolution latest version for reducing your input delay so guys open up this first folder for optimization of our windows registry and this will also work with windows 11 or windows 10 open up this folder here's a bunch of file first one here is the for the maximum processor frequency to unlocking all of the core of your cpu simply double click here click ok go for the next file for increasing your cpu speed here is the graphic speed for your gpu uh, bus speed and here is the uh, memory speed for your ram double click here click ok and here is the last network speed.reg file simply double click here click ok and guys if you have uh, the low ram like the 4 gb or the 8 gb of the ram then guys use this file so i'm simply double click here click ok and install this file one by one on your computer once you're done now you need to go back into the main directory of your boost pack and next here is the fortnite config file for boosting your fps we will go toward this later first we are going to go toward the third file which is the high priority for the fortnite you need to double click here here you will go to this two registry file first one for the default priority dot reg file and here is the high priority dot reg file for your fortnite for setting your fortnite onto the high priority of your windows so simply double click here click yes click ok and install this high priority and if you want to reward the settings back so simply install this default uh, priority.rg file on your computer again now go back into the main directory again and here is our next folder which is the program here we have two program first one is the mz ram.exe file this is the ram booster for optimization of your ram and here is the par control setup this is the pro version you can guys use all the feature of the par control completely for free so first of all use the power control on your computer because this is the one of the best software for improving your pc performance for gaming simply double click here click ok i agree all the time click next and install this software on your computer once you install it i already got one here on my desktop if i show you uh, it is running in the system tray click here go for the uh, power control and you can check it out here guys all of my 16 of 16 cores are active right now not a single core of my cpu is on to the park mode so all are working right now so how guys set up this software you need to click on this drop down menu go for the bits of my performance and make it activate then disable all of this option then go for this option which is the bitstamp dynamic boost enable check mark here and here is the show power plan a change notification also check mark here and also check mark on the show park settings in windows uh, control panel for the power settings simply check mark here and here is the option for the power option click here it will take you into this power option of your windows make sure to set onto the bitstamp high performance and close out this window now hit apply and click ok now guys let's go for the next software which is the mz ram.exe file you need to double click here click ok click next 
and simply install this software on your computer you can also check mark on to create a desktop on the icon create a desktop icon then click next and install this software here we're done now check mark on the run mz ram booster and click finish so now here is the interface for the software now you need to change not any guys settings here what you need to do first of all you need to go here for this option which is the smart optimization you need to simply click here and this will guys do all of this stuff automatically once you click here so it will start optimizing your ram and here you can check it out here the free ram right now and the used ram right now and here is the total ram of my pc which is guys in use so guys once you're done with all the settings you can also go for this next option which is the system speed up you can guys simply follow all of the settings don't change any settings except this cpu priority tweaks simply set it for the uh, boost the foreground application simply click here then click onto this apply value or you can simply go with the recommended value simply click here it will automatically set all of the settings which is best for your pc then apply these values now guys let's go for our next step which is the how to reduce the input delay on our computer before going into this folder now we are going to guys install our fortnite config file for boosting over fps so open up this folder here is two files first one for the low end pc and second one for the very low end pc i will make a dedicated video for the competitive player from there you can guys do the best settings for your fortnite config file for reducing your input delay and boosting your fp but this is for the low end pc so guys now what you need to do you need to open up this folder according to your pc specs if you have no gpu on your computer then i recommend you to go with the very low end or you can also guys go with the very low end if you have a very low end gpu otherwise go with the low end pc right click here go for the show more option and click on this copy button now you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and type here app data you need to type here simply app data from your keyboard press enter now go for the local folder find out here fortnite game save config windows client and simply paste this file here into this location so i have already done all of the settings in my config file and guys also it is very important if you are getting the fps drops and status in the fortnite so i suggest you to simply guys delete this config file from this folder then launch your fortnite and fortnite will automatically generate brand new config file on your computer automatically in the client windows folder now guys let's go for the next step that is over windows optimization settings so go for your windows search and search for the game mode first of all simply search game mode settings click here and make sure to turn on the game mode from this list now go for this related settings which is the graphics open up the settings and go for the change default graphic settings and make sure to turn on the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling on your computer once you're done now go back into the previous tab now go for this list and search for the fortnite click here on the fortnite icon go for the option and set it on the high performance now hit save and close out this window once you're done with all of the settings of your windows now i'm going to show you guys the settings for your hard drive and your fortnite directory so go in your file explorer go for this pc section and here you will go to this old drive now what you need to do you need to find out the drive where you install your fortnite by default fortnite automatically install in your c drive which is also your windows def default drive you need to right click here go for this properties option you will go to this window go for this disk cleanup option now scroll uncheck this box first of all and now scroll down here is this temporary file option check mark here go for the delivery optimization also check mark here and here is the direct shadow cache this is also the one of the most important and here is the temporary internet file also check mark here once you're done so now you need to click on to this ok button delete file and guys here it will just take few seconds to deleting all of these temporary and junk files from your computer once you're done now go for this tool tab go for this optimization button you will go to this kind of window now you need to select out your c drive where you have installed your fortnite click here on this optimize button and it will start optimizing your ssd or the drive where you install your fortnite once it's done now guys you need to simply close out this folder and now go for your c drive where you install your fortnite go for the program file epic games fortnite folder Fortnite games binary win 4 and here is the directory for the fortnite now go for the first exit file of the fortnite you can also check it out here the size of this file now right click here go for the properties go for the compatibility sections and check mark onto the disable full screen optimization then go for the change high dpi and also check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior 
and click ok hit apply and click ok and do the same settings with all these four xv files of the fortnite now one time guys restart your computer because all of the registry changes which we have done that will take effect once you restart it so once you restart then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your pc and guys also don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and leave your opinion about this video in the comment sections so till the next video peace out